with the Fender Mustang bass that I picked up on Adorama on sale a few months ago. Um, just thought I would do a full review on it um, and show you show you how it sounds and tell you what I think about it. All right, so um, a couple things about Fender Mustangs. Basically, this was Leo Fender's last one of his last bass projects uh, before he sold the company in 1965. So he was working on this in 1964 and the Mustang bass first went into official production in 66. Back then it had just a mini split quill um, uh, pickup kind of like the P bass but it's a smaller. Didn't have this jazz bass pickup. This is something uh, unique to the newer models. Back then it did have through body strings um, yeah, so, all right, let's review the bass co component by component. So, at the neck, you have the CBS style vintage headstock, which I really like. Um, I'm kind of a sucker for these throwback vintage type headstocks. I love the font, it's really cool. Um, this is the first guitar, bass or guitar, I've owned with Pal Ferro fretboard. Um, if you don't know, there is some restrictions that have been in place in 2017 it's a little bit more difficult to import and export rosewood so you're going to see this more commonly this base was made in mexico so i think that might be part of the reason these mexican bases are going with the palfero um, just for logistics and regulation reasons you'll still see it on some american guitars from fender but i think that's it i'm not quite positive um and I'm thinking on the back, the uh, skunk stripe is also Pal Ferro. Okay, one tip I have for you is if you're buying this new, you wanna get some fretboard oil. I found that the fretboard seemed to be dried out. It was uh, a lighter, much lighter color when I received it. Um, and I really like the results from cleaning it up or I mean polishing it up. Um, it gives it a darker look. Okay, let's talk about the scale a little bit. These bases are short scale. So in the 60s when they were first designed, they were doing short scale for the student models, um, for you know younger kids trying to learn the instrument. Um, today, they're used for smaller people, but I think the point I wanna drive is that um, this is actually a really great base for a guitar player. Someone who's writing songs in their home studio may really enjoy having a base like this around because it's not going to be quite the same uh, stretch that they would see with a full size base, so it may make it may make their music writing much more productive to have a short scale like this, uh, especially a quality, high quality short scale like these. All right, next I wanted to talk about the pickups. So they're a precision, like P bass style, and then jazz bass in the bridge. I didn't take the base apart, so I'm not sure if these are ceramic or Alnico or what they are exactly, um, and Fender isn't very specific. But I do like this setup because it gives you a, a wide range of tones. You get some of the brighter sounds from the jazz bass, or you can go with the um, heavier, darker sounds of the P bass, or combine them to get a pretty full spe spectrum of sounds. Those selections are switched with this switch. Um, in the up position, you have the precision bass pickup. Middle will be both pickups. And then down is just the jazz bass pickup. So as far as the hardware, um, it's got pretty decent tuning machines. They're a vintage style open back tuners. They're okay, um, I find. I find that they hold tune pretty well and it's pretty happy with the quality of them. Similar to the headstock, they've gone with the CBS style um, Fender stamped logo. Um, this is pretty, pretty similar to what you would see on a 1966 Fender guitar. And I, I like that they chose that they went with the more vintage instead of like a blank plate. For the bridge, we have a standard four saddle hardtail bridge. Having four saddles allows you to intonate the bass better. Back in the 60s, uh, I, I, 
they used a different saddle that was just one piece of wood. Um, so you'd have more problems with intonation. So it's better that they went with this. An upgrade I would make on this base is to add a high mass bridge to get some of the sustain and resonance that would make this base really shine. The Mustang base comes with two knobs, um, just a volume knob and a tone knob, pretty straightforward. And then you've got your input, your output jack. All right, next let's hear how this thing sounds. Um, I'm gonna go through starting with the switch in the up position, which is just the P bass, and then next middle position, which will be both pickups, and then finally the third position, which will be just the jazz bass. So next moving to the middle position, which is the P bass and the jazz bass. So that gives you some idea of what it sounds like with both pickups on. Um, finally, let's hear the J pickup. This one should sound a bit brighter and thinner. Alright cool guys, so that concludes my demo of the Mustang bass. Um, you can check out my website, doyoulikegear.com, where I write up about the bass a little bit more. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.